Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, I'm going to talk about an aspect of manufacturing which we haven't really mentioned enough. And that's about how do you maintain complex machines. I work with defense aerospace sectors and we do this for aircraft engines, we do this for military assets, military assets. But I will try to relate that with rural context so that reach of this research can be extended. I'm going to talk about impact of servitization of manufacturing. Now when you see aircrafts and Rolls Royce or Boeing engines in the aircraft or G engines, most of them are sold on similar things like power by hour. So the product is sold on the basis that you only pay for the usage. And that's actually happening in many sectors. In defense it happens, in aerospace it's happening. 52% of Rolls-Royce revenue today is coming from business like that, rather than selling direct engines. And I'm going to tell you what it means to us when we talk about agricultural equipments in rural areas, in rural India. So we define engineering services as design creation and in-service sustainment of complex engineering products. Now colleague from IISC, Satish, has already mentioned sustainability and we had a quick brief chat outside in during coffee. I believe that while we are talking about economic activity in rural areas to actually raise quality of life and well-being of people, at the same time we should not focus on consumerism. We should be, I agree, from start thinking about sustainability, but also think about utilization of resources. We call it engineering for life. How can you extend life of certain equipments? Some of the equipments you saw, it doesn't matter actually if that equipment is 10 years old. It still works. So culturally, our expectation doesn't have to be just introduction of product. I think it should serve the society and we act appropriately and try to utilize the asset to its full life. So a lot of my interest is about how do we understand entire life of a product? Whether it's an aircraft engine, whether it's a military aircraft, or whether it's a tractor, or for example, seed implant machine, which is a very complex engineering product for rural applications. Life is important, and we should not waste life. That's where I'm coming from. I work in two scientific areas to in, within this context. One is about degradation studies, where I look at how machines fail over time. Fundamentally, how materials deteriorate over time, how machines fail, how electronics fail over time. I also look at digital services engineering, where we talk about utilization of technology available to support some of the things we are doing in maintenance, for example. In the context of doing all of this is what we call product service systems. It's about selling not just product but also services associated with that product. We do it together. And here is an example. For this type of agricultural equipments, 
There are deals like this is from John Deere and there will be similar in other parts of India, in Punjab and Gujarat areas, where you will be paying like a rental, but with guaranteed service. That's very important. Because when you are trying to actually harvest, you don't want to waste time. And the window is very narrow. And you want to utilize the machine as much as possible. So you want manufacturers to guarantee performance for these equipments. And that's where the difficulty is, by the way, guaranteeing performance. And you want to do that at lowest possible cost or optimum cost. That's what we want to achieve. And this is what happens. Customer just pays for the usage and the manufacturer looks after the entire machine and its upkeep and its maintenance so that they can guarantee performance. If the machine doesn't perform, they have to be, give big penalty to the customer. But the fundamental difference is now the machine belongs to the manufacturer, not the customer. Customer just pays for the service. And the manufacturer can own the machine, they can change the machine as they want. Imagine cold storage facilities in rural areas. One of my colleagues here, one of the colleagues, uh, delegates from this IMF, mentioned to me in the morning about cold storage facilities in rural areas and how tomatoes now five rupees a kilo or even 50 paisa a kilo in some rural areas. My colleague and teacher, Professor, you know, um, Dr. Trinath Pachal, we were talking about this this morning too. You can change that using cold storage. How about designing portable cold storage? How about designing solar powered cold storages, which can guarantee performance? So manufacturers have to guarantee performance and people in the villages will only pay per sack of tomatoes or per basket of tomatoes they want to keep there for certain days. They don't have to worry about the facility themselves. And you know what? You can change the whole game because now they are free from having a lot of money to have access to the facility. What happens if you do this way with investors coming in like banks paying for that cost you can distribute the cost for the customers. They only pay a few thousand rupees a month for storing tomatoes, but manufacturers of these facilities, they have now long-term opportunity to get these customers for a long time to earn revenue as well. So it's win-win for both sides. And to do this, we do science. So now, a lot of my work is about application of non-destructive testing to understand health of machines. So that manufacturers, when they are guaranteeing performance, they are actually investigating, continuously monitoring health of the machine. They are planning maintenance interventions in such a way they can maximize their profit. By the way, making profit is good. Without making profit, we cannot introduce entrepreneurship. We cannot introduce enterprise in large scale. But it should be socially responsible. That's all we ask. I will stop in the next slide. We also talk about automating some of these things. So if you are a manufacturer and you own, for example, 500 of this cold storage, and you have to investigate maintenance of air conditioning systems, you can actually create a plant where you bring in all those um, units and repair yourself. You can automate that process. And we research in these areas. So with that, I would like to just summarize with one sentence Please think about engineering for life to utilize the resources. Thank you.